Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In this video, I make 3 Scratch projects in 30 seconds, 3 minutes and 30 minutes. If you haven't already made sure to subscribe to the channel, it will only take you 2 seconds. Right, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with the 30 second challenge and explain everything at the end. Uh, right now, we're just going to get started and it's going to be a click game. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Okay, first create a sprite, first one I see. Okay, uh, let's get some blocks in. We're going quite uh, fast already. This is a good start. Um, we'll get shoe, and then we, we need to hide. Perfect. Uh, now we've got to create a variable. If I can do that. Perfect. Set score. Change the score. I need to go into operators and get this block. And we need to type in a value to 1.1. Perfect. Okay, that is the game, um, functional, I'll explain all the code right now. So basically, um, when the green flag is clicked, it's going to reset the score to zero, and then uh, it's just going to keep moving randomly around the stage, and it's going to sh show and hide occasionally, and when it shows, we can click it, and then we can score points. And now let's test it. Perfect, Nope, we're scoring points every time we click on it, perfect. And that is a fully functional click game made in just 30 seconds. Okay, now it's time to move on to the three minute challenge. Okay, so we're going to animate the word scratch for a three minute challenge. Each of the individual letters gets a special effect and hopefully we can do it all in time. So three, two, one, let's go. So first we want to create um, the letters that make up the word scratch. So S, then we're going to do C and so on. So I'll see you when I'm finished. That. Perfect, and now we can start coding the first letter. So um, we need... Um, a forever loop and we need a repeat and inside the repeat we need this weight block and it needs to be 0.2 seconds then um, we can get an effect and we'll do the colour effect and basically what it's going to do is it's going to set the effect to zero and then it's going to keep cycling through the effect 10 times and it's going to set it back to zero and we are basically going to do this for all the first few letters and we're going to change the effect every time so I will see you when I'm finished that Okay, now we're going to make a new costume for uh, for the letter T, so we're going to go into letters and we're going to do the glue T instead, and then what we're going to do is, when green flag clicked, forever loop, and then um, we're going to uh, start with the block T costume and we're going to keep rotating costume every one second, and that is all the code we need for that one. Next, for the C, I want it to jump up and down, so we need a couple of repeat blocks, and um, they all need to be number 5, and then I can duplicate and this and we need 0.1 for each of these perfect and then we can go into um, motion and we can get uh, change y by 10 and then change y by minus 10 and that's basically going to make it um, go up and then go down again and we need to repeat that and then we get the green flag uh, perfect and then finally for the letter H I just um, I want it to get bigger every time so we're gonna wait um, one second and we'll do this constantly and then we're going to set the size to 150% and then we're going to go back down to maybe 120 actually and we're going to put that in. Perfect! Okay, that is basically the timer um, finished and that is our project done and now we can test it out. So we'll go in the fill screen here. Perfect, look at that, amazing. It works perfectly and that is how you animate a word on Scratch. You don't have to do uh, the effects um, that I'm doing, you can just um, maybe make it rotate or maybe make the sprite move to random positions, it's up to you. But that is our 3 minute challenge successful, now it's time for the 30 minute challenge. Okay, so now it's time for the final challenge, the 30 minute one, and basically we're going to make a Clone Wars game. And I don't know how much we're going to get done in half an hour, but uh, we'll see, and if we get enough done we can call it finished. So um, let's start in 3, 2, one go okay first we got to create a backdrop and we want a space backdrop so i'm going to create stars and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rocket ship and instead of finding it there's a quick way you just type it and there you go uh, you've got a rocket ship and then we've got to add some code that when i press the left arrow key the rocket ship moves left and when i click the right arrow key the rocket ship moves right and we've covered this um, before in previous videos so i'm just going to do it and i'll, I'll see you when it's finished
Okay, now I've completed that code, what we're going to do is we're going to make a lightning bolt. And for the lightning bolt, um, then we're going to go um, and make it hide at the start because uh, we don't want um, the player to see the lightning bolt at the very beginning. And then we've got to set the size. And I'm thinking a size 40 will do. There we go. There we go, maybe a bit bigger, maybe 45, yes 45, and then we're going to point in the direction minus 90 degrees, and that will all make sense later, and when I actually do it, there we go, and now what we're going to do um, is it's going to fire um, the point the end out of the spaceship, um, because we did that, and we are going to add some code um, to the spaceship, and we're going to add some code to the lightning, so I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, now um, I finished that, so I'm going to explain it very quickly. So this basically, when the space key is pressed, it's going to create a clone of the lightning bolt. And the reason why I put this wait block in between is because the user can just keep holding space. It will completely spam lightning bolts and it will make the game way too easy. And that's basically cheating as well. And we probably do not want that. And I think I might want the spaceship a bit smaller actually, because it looks quite big. And then the lightning, this is the code for the clone, so it goes to the rocket ship and then it's just going to simply keep going upwards, because it's Y, by 10 until it touches um, the edge and then when it touches the edge it's going to delete the clone. And now we are going to make a space hippos that um, the rocket ship needs to shut down. So we're going to do that right now, we're going to go um, get a hippo. And we're going to make the hippo a bit smaller. I think size 70 will do. Yeah, size 70. Perfect. And then I'm going to code the hippo and I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, so as you can see just there, I've um, coded uh, the hippo, and I'm going to explain this code right now. So there is a speed variable you saw me create, and that speed variable controls um, how fast the hippo actually moves. And the faster the hippo, the harder it's going to be to shoot. And then I've also made um, the rocket ship, and this is the sun, and... The reason why I made that is so when the hippo touches the rocket ship, then it's going to explode and, it's, and that's going to look really cool. So I thought we'll do that. And now we've got to make the hippos actually disappear um, when the spaceship explodes. So then um, the player can have time to recover. So I'll include that. Okay, now i finished that. Now let's give the game a little test. And look, we can move the spaceship and then the hippo's going to appear. Uh, we can shut down the hippo like so, and then we're going to wait the hippo to touch us. Perfect, we explode, and that is all we've coded so far. Now we're going to make the game a bit harder. We're going to create a bat, and that bat is going to throw oranges at the spaceship. This game is very weird, but um, after all, um, th this is Clone Wars, and there are no rules in it. So we're going to set the rotation style of this bat to left to right before I forget to do that. And then I'm probably going to make it uh, slightly smaller, so we'll do that, maybe size 70, yeah perfect, and then I'm going to code the bat now. Okay, so I have finished the code for the bat and the orange, as you can see, um, there, there's the code, so basically the bat's just going to keep flying left to right, and then um, this orange is um, going to try and go down and if it hits the spaceship then the spaceship will explode and I've also started um, the next bit of code and that is to make a game over sign so when we lose our lives, I've made a lives variable by the way and if we lose our lives then the game over sign will show so now we just need to um, make a new script here and wait until uh, lives is less than one and we start with two lives, so this game is quite difficult. Wait until lives equals one, less than one, sorry, and then after we're going to broadcast a message, we're going to broadcast game over message, game over, and 
then we're going to go into the game over sprite. We want this to hide at the beginning because we don't want to see it. When I receive game over, we shoot. And there we go. And also, we're going to make a score variable. So we're going to go here, variables, make score. And basically, um, we're going to set the score to zero to start off with, of course. And we can do that with any sprite. And then when the lightning bolt shoots a hippo, and we, we can get one point. So repeat until touching lightning. So down here, we can um, change the score by one. Okay, now we can test the game out. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to troubleshoot it. And of course it doesn't work. Because the game over is still there. So, now let's try. And it's of course game over. Because I haven't set the lives to uh, the two yet. So we've got set the lives to two. And now let's try again. And it's still game over. And I think I know the problem to this over here. So, why is it set lives to zero there? Okay, now it's set lives to two. Hopefully it should work. There we go. And that was just a very silly mistake. We can shoot at this hippo. We get one point, as you can see. This is a fast hippo. I just, um, I'm going to die here. Okay, perfect. We're down to one life. And then I'm going I'm to wait for this hippo to touch me. And then that is the game over. And, of course, um, the game ends. And we should stop everything because all the um, uh, the sprites and all are still moving. So what we can do is we'll, we'll get stop all, and then we're gonna broadcast a message actually, and or if I can find messages, and I'm gonna call that hide, and that's basically just gonna hide all the sprites. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, now hopefully um, this works. Uh, now, so. We're just going to wait until I die. Okay, we're just going to have to wait. And as you can see there, um, game over. Everything's disappeared and that bit works perfectly. Okay, we have less than 10 minutes left. And what I want to do now is I'm going to make a health pack. And that's going to give um, the spaceship some extra lives. So what I can do here is I'm going to make a um, square. I don't want a fill in it. I want a, um, a very faint outline um we'll do red no well, yeah we'll do red actually for the outline and we'll make um a, a square like so um i think that's no i don't like that i need it a bit thicker so i'm gonna make it a tiny bit thicker and they're perfect and then um actually for the fill we could do um white so if i'm i'm fine white here Perfect. There's white and then um, we can draw a few extra lines on this and make it look properly like a health pack. Okay, that's just, uh, that's our health pack there and um, to be honest it probably doesn't look like a health pack, it looks like a present but it uh, doesn't matter. We can make it slightly smaller and then what we're going to do is um, we're going to make it appear randomly every few seconds uh, along the bottom of the screen and occasionally it can spawn on the spaceship but that's not a huge problem and I'm going to code that and I'll see you when it's finished. Okay so now I've coded the health pack and it will spawn randomly though and and then when it touches the rocket ship and we change the life by one and hide and I've um, also put the hide message in and that is basically all the code um, for this complete and then um, now we only have really about five minutes left so uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I I don't know we can maybe make floating rocks that your spaceship has to avoid or well, I've got a better idea we can make enemies appear when our score um, goes to 100 or yeah we can make it we can make it harder so um, we can um, fix this so Maybe not a hundred for the score. I'm thinking maybe if we reach twenty, say. So what we're gonna do if um score is less than twenty one, because that's twenty or under. So if score is less than twenty one, then we can do that. But and then I think I've just messed up. I need an else block instead. Oh my goodness! I put it in the wrong place. Okay, there we go. And 
then put this here and then if the score is not and um less than 21 then we can wait and let's say one to f one to three seconds and we can create a clone of ourselves so that's going to be faster and that hopefully should make the game harder and maybe in fact we can create um two clones of ourselves so that's two times so that's two clones and now we can test um test this game out so i'm just I already have four points, so I don't think I reset the score to zero, so I, I think I better do that. So reset the score to zero at the beginning of the game, hopefully now it works. Perfect. And to speed things up, I'm just going to um, set, set my own score to 19. And I'm going to give myself more lives. Perfect. And this is just the test out. Run four, run four lives, there's the health pack. They do despawn, perfect, we've got the health pack, and now we're at 21, so they, they are spawning more often as you can see, and this makes the game way harder, perfect, and we have about 3 minutes left now, so um, what I was thinking is, I actually maybe decorate the sprite a wee bit more, so I'll see you when that's finished. And we have ran out of time, but I have finished everything, and I've added, um, of course I've changed the sign, but also I've added um, just something a bit fun, that if the score is greater than 20, then the hippo turns pink. So that's just using colour effect we used earlier in the 3 minute challenge, and now I think it's time to test the game out. Okay, now it's time to actually test the game out, so um, here we are, we are um, we have a score of 0, we're going to shoot some hippos, there we go, perfect. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grind and try to get score to 20 so I can show you what happens to the hippos that when they turn pink. Okay, we have a score of 20 um, now and as you can see the hippos are pink and um, I'm just going to move a wee bit. Wow, there's a lot of them. The game really gets hard. And I'm going to quickly just die. I'll show you what happens. There we go, game over. Excellent. That is a 30 minute Clone Wars game. I'm, I'm very proud of it. And I'll probably put this up on my um, Scratch page so you can um, take a look at the code yourself and maybe you can uh, modify it, make it better. There's not more we could have done, but um, we only had 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway of um, the 3 minutes, um, 30 minute and of course the 30 second challenge. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, and I will see you guys soon with another coding video. Bye-bye.